properties of flammable materials until now we have seen. One of the major elements for fire is fuel. What is fuel? It should have some property. Let us discuss the property one by one. First flammability. It is the ability of the chemical to burn or ignite causing fire or combustion. It is easily ignitable and can catch fire. Now for this one the example. On its stove you put a pan and oil you in it. As it is burning it comes to a state of combustible level where a spark or by its own ignition it can catch fire. This is called flammability. The other property ignition point. It is the lowest temperature to reach. Combustible substances should be heated to catch fire with air. The third property. It's called burning temperature. The burning temperature and ignition temperature. Both are same. It is the minimum temperature required for the substance to catch fire. There are many substances which has got low ignition temperature which can catch fire easily. There are substances which are high ignition temperature which will catch fire often heating to some time. For example, kerosene have to be heated for it to catch fire. Fourth property. Thermal speed. Thermal means heat energy. Speed is nothing but velocity. So it is velocity of thermal motion gas particle or liquid. In other words it is a measurement of heat energy or a temperature of the heat traveling at that speed. Let us now discuss the vital property. We all know that that should be a mixture of fuel and air in that condition any spark can ignite. So this mixer now let us call it vapor in air or gas in air. So this concentration all these combination should be at the level where fire can catch. So the lowest concentration at which it can catch fire is called lower flammable limit. And the highest concentration where it can catch fire is called higher flammable limit. Below the lower flammable range it cannot catch fire we call it thin concentration. Above the higher flammable range. We call it too high concentration. In continuation of lower flammable limit. And higher flammable limit, we have come to know. What is the flammable range? Lower flammable range below. Which it cannot catch as fire. Higher flammable range above which it cannot catch fire. This is called to be too thin concentration. And that is called too high concentration. So in between is called the range of flammability. The other property flashpoint of a substance which can burn. This is the minimum temperature. Where the substance can. Become into a vapor mixing with air. At this point it can give flash fires. The other property these call auto ignition. You might have seen at your home. That oil pan when it is continuously. Heated suddenly the oil catches fire. How does it catch fire? As you keep on heating. The vapors also formed. And level of temperature comes where without any external source of spark it can catch fire spontaneously this is called auto ignition of that substance